Hi everyone, welcome back to Fay with Me, welcome to Fay with Me, if this is your first time here. Welcome, welcome, join us, come hang out for a bit. So this mead is inspired and dedicated to my freezer. You see, it gets quite full of random fruits and things that I use for mead. Also, uh, you know, will just eat fruit because it's in season. It's cheap, it's cheap and in season. So what do you do when that stuff starts building up? You throw it in your freezer, you got little bits of blackberries here, blueberries there, bananas, not enough bananas to make bread. And you're like, I don't feel like making bread anyways. So what do I do with this? Well, here's your answer. And it's called zero waste mead. I just threw a bunch of things together and made meat out of it. All my little odds and ends. And you can too, by golly. Just keep on watching to find out uh, how, how I did this. What I did. <laughs> how much fruit to save or something. So for this meat, I used one frozen banana, about a half a cup of frozen blackberries and maybe another half a cup of frozen blueberries, as well as almost two cups of blackberry juice. I also had about three and a quarter cup of Concord juice. After chopping and boiling the banana in a little bit of water for about 10 minutes, I did add about a quarter teaspoon of pectic enzyme, pectin, pectic. Uh, for about an hour. I did accidentally leave out the fresh blueberries. Um, I kind of forgot about them. So they didn't get enzymed. They went in afterwards, but that's fine. I also added about 1.3 grams of FT Rouge, as well as one pound and 8.4 ounces of Bubba's Wildflower Honey. 1.09 grams of Opti White, two and a half grams of Go Firm and one gram of Booster Blanc. None of these additives are necessary, but they are very helpful. And all of that brought my gravity up to about 1.132. I did use a nutrient schedule. After letting this sit for some time, I checked the gravity and it was at 1.004. Um, I let this sit almost another month just in case it wasn't finished fermenting. And it was, so then I just racked and stabilized it. Um, after stabilizing, I did add 5.8 ounces of Bubba's to bring the sweetness up to 1.020. And then I bottled. All right, here we are. Zero waste meat, semi-sweet, 17%. I did not mean to do that. How is this thing gonna be? What flavors will I pull? Actually, let me look at this. I need to remind myself of what I did. This has been bottled for just over a month. All right, here we go. First off, color's gorgeous. Of course, it's mostly red fruit and juice that I had added. You can um, really pick up the Concord here. <laughs> The Concord and the Blackberry. You really don't notice um, on the nose any more alcohol than you would with other meads. It's tart. But it does have a good tannic structure as well. I back sweetened to 1.020, which is technically semi-sweet by BJCP standards. Some people it may feel sweeter than others. However, I think with the tannic and the tannin acid structure and uh, how high the ABV is, you won't really pick up so much on that sweetness. It doesn't, it doesn't hit me. Okay, let me, <laughs> let me take another sip of this, okay? I think the acid, the acid and tannin structure are definitely higher than what I'd typically put in a mead. Although the, I think the reason I added as much tannin as I did is because of the acid levels in the fruits which is kind of wild how much I feel. <laughs> I have this grippiness. It's very full bodied, very much. Of course, I added quite a few things to this. Oh boy, yeah, that's strong. Uh, what am I trying to say right now? It's not obvious when you drink it, how strong it is. It's not obvious, which means I did a pretty decent job in my fermentation. It's surprisingly smooth for how 
strong this is. I remember when I when I calculated the ABV, I was taken aback. Somehow I didn't realize it was gonna go all the way. I didn't think it was gonna ferment all the way out, and it did. I've already had some drinks, and now I'm like, holy fray, holy! It's very much blackberry concord. You don't get the banana. I knew that you wouldn't. It mostly adds mouthfeel. The most successful sort of zero waste meat, I suppose, is when you have just a buildup of stuff, an excess of things uh, left over from your mead making journey that you're like, dang it, I need to use this. Um, I think the juice was approaching its expiration date and I used some for something and and then I just had some in the fridge that needed to get used, you know? So it tastes good. It's a good like party drink if you wanna get messed up real quick and easy. 17% will get you there, let me tell you. Real quick, real quick. Can you snap with your hand that you're not dominant in? Cause I can't. I can barely snap with my right hand. Okay, this is like off the rails. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a comment down below if you want. Tell me what you're making. I love to hear about these things. If I don't respond right away, I am terribly sorry. I am an anxious person. I am also pretty introverted, believe it or not. I have learned how to talk to a camera really good. Look at the stuff below. Look at the comments. Leave a comment. Anyways, have a great day. I appreciate you. Thanks for watching this, and I'll see you around next time. Hopefully next week. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. Okay, bye. Bye-bye.